Dear aspirants, we have been getting a lot of queries on how to prepare for NEET MDS. So, Meritas has come up with a how to prepare series in which we'll be guiding you with the correct approach for each and every subject individually. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know for preparation of the endodontic subject. There are certain questions that come in every student's mind while preparing for NEET examination. The typical questions are, what is the subject wise weightage? Which books to refer? How much time should be allocated to each subject? What are the important topics and what are the type of questions that are asked in the exam? So starting with the weightage first, the past five years analysis of the NEET MDS examination, it shows that six to eight questions have been asked in the previous years out of 240. That accounts hardly for 3%, but still it is a low hanging fruit. Why? Because you have been doing this in your final year as well as you are practicing this subject in your internship. That's why you should go ahead and grab it and don't take it lightly. The next question, which books to refer? There are many books which are available in the market for endodontics, but the gross men's endodontic practice is the most basic and widely used book. You can expect almost 80% of the questions in NEET MDS from this book only. Now there are certain topics which are beyond the scope of this book like anatomy of the pulp cavity, some picture based question as well as certain diagnostic questions that can be covered from Cohen's pathway of the pulp. And if you are interested in going in depth in the microbiology then Ingalls can be considered as the right choice for you. With all these books to read, how much time do you have for the preparation of the endodontics? If you are in final year, then you can afford to give two weeks for this subject. But if you are an intern or post intern, then you can't give more than seven days for preparation of this subject. Now coming to what are the important topics we need to focus while preparing for endodontics. Uh, for knowing abnormal, we should be able to identify the normal and that's why we have to read the anatomy of the pulp cavity. In this, we should know about the dental pulp. And yes, endodontics is all about the dental pulp. We should know the structure and morphology of the pulp, innervation of the dental pulp and the blood supply of the dental pulp. Then we should come to the tooth morphology which will be making your basis for the root canal treatment. And you should be able to know the apical anatomy, Dummer's classification, Kimetol classification, pattern of root canals and a lot of image based questions can be asked on all these classifications and you can prepare these from the Cohen's pathway of the pulp. Then we have classification of root canal systems and individual variations for each and every tooth. Then excess cavity preparation we have to see in this objectives and principles will again make your foundation for the root canal treatment and shape of excess cavity preparation is important and that can be read from Grossman as well as Cohen's pathway of the pulp. Now the next unit here is the disease of pulp and periapical tissues. So the pathology of the pulp, we should be able to know the classification of the pulpal pathologies and that's why we'll be able to diagnose it properly if we know the clinical classification well. So the classification is important and a lot of sources are given their own, own classification. That's why you should be uh, knowing the summary of the pulpal pathology. Then the pulpal pain. The characteristic of the pain and the type of the pain will tell you the type of the pulpal pathology as well as you should be knowing about the innervation. Now this innervation thing, there are different areas which are supplied by different types of nerve fibers. So you should be knowing about the characteristics of those fibers, how much velocity of the conduction is there and everything about those fibers. Then we have periapical pathologies. You should be just knowing the overview of the peri periapical pathologies to go ahead. Once you are familiar with the normal anatomy and morphology of the root canal system, you know the pulpal classification and you formulate a treatment plan in which you go for the endodontic treatment. So for doing the endodontic treatment, biomechanics is the thing you should be familiar about. So biomechanics is again a very important unit in which you have to read about the instruments and devices, materials, working length and cleaning and shaping. Now in the instruments itself, instrument classification is of immense importance and you have to go for the Crossman as well as ISO classification. ISO classification, you should know in details, you should know all the six types of uh, categories in this classification because a lot of image based questions as well as comparative question as well as newer instrument questions are asked on this. So we have to be ready for image based question on all these six types of instrument classification. Then. ADA specification of important endodontic materials you should be familiar with and the laser the newer technologies. 
Then coming to the materials, you should know the general properties and characteristic of root canal irrigates, medicaments, root canal sealer, core material as well as you should know about the classification of all these materials. Coming to the working length and cleaning and shaping, you should know the methods of the working length and the different procedures and different rules of the working length measurement. Then the cleaning and shaping for the root canal you should be familiar about. Then the next unit can be the disinfection as we have already done it in the cleaning and, uh, cleaning and shaping in the previous topics. Then we have the obturation. Now this obturation, warm compaction, cold compaction, thermomechanical compaction, chemically plasticized gutta percha, carrier based gutta percha and thermoplasticized gutta percha everything we should know about as well as we should know about the normal composition of gutta percha also. Then for the bleaching, we should know about the classification of the dental stains, classification of bleaching, agents for bleaching, power bleaching, night guard, vital bleaching, walking bleach and thermocatalytic bleaching and microabrasion. And there is since 2017 to 2020, every year there was at least one question from bleaching part. So you should be very focused on this particular topic. Now if the examiner is giving beyond the endodontic treatment, so they will be surely giving you the endodontic surgery. So in the surgical endodontic, you should be able to know the gutman's classification, then different flap designs, root and preparation and root and filling, then root and conditioning and landmarks in healing after the endodontic surgery. After that traumatology, again a very important topic and that in this will be uh, knowing about the endodontic traumatology crown fracture, root fracture, luxation injuries, avulsion and avulsion with dento alveolar fracture. Everything we should know, we should know there the, the splinting time as well as the different mode of treatment which we have to give in each individual condition. Now some other miscellaneous topics which are important for NEET examination. The endodontic diagnosis is of course of immense importance and the pulp testing classification, pulp sensitivity test pulp vitality test and radiographic diagnosis all these topics are very important for NEET examinations and always since the NEET has been implemented since 2017 to 2020 all time at least one question was there on the pulp testing classification. Then the restoration of the endodontically treated teeth in which you have to mainly read about the post and core and different types of post and what are the rules which are uh, implemented for the putting the post and core in endodontically treated teeth. Coming to the type of questions that are asked in NEET MDS exams, there can be five types of the questions that can be asked from endodontic subject itself. The questions can be case based questions, image based questions, fact based questions, concept based questions and numerical based questions. Let me show you a few samples. Meritor's MDS prep provides you all the type of questions that we have just discussed. So here is a case based question where a patient is giving history of avulsion of teeth and the treatment modality has been asked. So you can answer the question, you can see the explanation. If you want to read more about the topic, you can always refer to our bites and you can see videos relevant to that bites. Here is the image based question where the difference between the A and B point has been asked. You can answer the question, you can read the explanation and you can refer the bytes as well as see the associated videos to it. This is an example of the numerical based question, a fact based question and this one is a concept based question from endodontics. Now you know what are the different types of questions that are asked in exam. So pick a chapter in the question bank and start practicing on Meritus MDS prep app. To make your preparation effective and efficient, we have created concise high yield notes and explanatory lecture videos. Once you are prepared with notes, question bank and videos, it's time to test yourself by taking chapter wise test. Taking tests improves your confidence, your accuracy and your timeliness. So we suggest you to take as many tests as possible on Meritus Prep app. Meritus provides you a real exam like interface which will help you to get used to exam and may reduce your anxiety in the real exam. It's always good to know where you stand by knowing your weaknesses and strengths. So Meritus progress tracker helps you with that. Do make use of Meritus app to the fullest extent in your preparation. Take care of your health. Wish you all the luck in your preparation. If you have any queries, please put them in the comment section below. If you like this video and want to see more videos like these, subscribe, like 
एंड शेयर आर चैनल थैंक यू